wanted to show you another um, uh, colored pencil example. Um, so I'm just going to pull out some different colors. And I'm going to start doing an example to show you another um, kind of a few other techniques that I like to use for um, coloring with colored pencils. So, I'm going to take Espresso Brun Pale Mediterranean Teal, which I used in the last one. Eco, eco green, simply green. Which you can't really see the colors, but um, and holly. And I'm going to make a little. I'm probably going to make a tree. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. So I'm just going to start with um, like a stump here. I'm going to make it kind of a Christmas tree kind of thing, an evergreen. Start, kind of start with the stump. Do kind of some lines in it. And then take the other one, do lines in it. Kind of um, color in the background lightly. So there's my stump. Um, I might just want to draw the ground, so I'm going to take another, um, pencil, and I'm going to just draw the ground. This is clover. I'm just going to take it and kind of draw the ground in there. Just kind of add a few, like, stripes in it to make it look like the earth and grass and everything and then I'm going to I might even put snow on this that's a good idea so I'm going to take um, white craze and silver and I'm going to use those later on um, for uh, snow on the tree so this is going to be like a Christmas kind of um, seen uh, in winter. So and I'm going to take my greens, which are these ones, and I'm going to first use, um, let's use Simply Green. A simple Green, so we can start out with that. And I'm just going to kind of do these branches. I'm not going to draw the um, brown from the branches, I'm just going to draw the leaves the leaf part of the branches um it's usually what i do i don't draw the branches um that come off of the tree i just draw the leaves but um it's a lot simpler but i'm gonna go up to about there and in my outline and then i'm gonna take the silver and i'm gonna kind of just do uh, some snow just kind of clustered in the tree. And some more on the top, which I'm going to draw um, leaves on the top, but I'll draw it this second. So then I'm going to take my Mediterranean teal and I'm just going to kind of go over the branches so that they're a little brightened. Just a little though. You don't want it to be really extremely teal because teal isn't really a tree color. But I just like to use unique colors for stuff like this. Um, so then I'm going to add a little bit of this teal to the snow as kind of a reflection light on the white and I'm going to take eco green this guy here and then I'm going to also 
go on those, then I'm going to do it thinner and just line and just kind of like um, to show that it's leaves. I'm going to take it and just kind of um, use it to color in the tree. Most of it, not the whole thing. Just kind of the outside edges and kind of blend it out from the sides. And add some to the snow here too. Which, this is kind of just like a, um, a dollar teal, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, which I like teal. It's a good color. But it's not exactly the right fit color for this tree. So I'm not going to use a ton of it. I'm just going to kind of, um, we don't want it to blend, the tree to blend in with the snow the shadowed areas of the snow, so I'm just going to kind of blend it out. Which will add more to the snow, so you won't be able to see as much of the teal, but um, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take my holly color right here, and I'm going to do more tan. Okay, well, I can still use it. I'm going to do more leaf like swipes, I guess you could say. And then I'm going to color most of the tree this color. And blend the middle of... Um, then I'm coloring the tree, um, this color, out into the sides. you have that and then I'm gonna draw some branches or leaves in the tree it doesn't have to be super realistic it can be just a simple um, kind of good coloring job tree um, <laughs> and then we got that and you could kind of just kind of spice up some of those um, uh, lines. Just kind of add some more angled ones and everything. And I'm going to take Simply Green again and just kind of go over it. Use the sides. And blend it out again. Just a little bit though, not a ton. Then, we're going to take silver and the white craze, which I don't know what the difference between white and white craze is, but we're going to take these, and I'm going to take the silver and do a little bit on the shadowed areas that I put the blues and greens, more of greens, kind of in between, but um, I'm just going to do some there on the shadows. Fade it out into the rest of the snow. And 
And I'm gonna use the white to blend the rest of that out and make it kind of pop a little more. If you use tons of pressure, it works really well. And you can tell that there's white in there. And it's not just the paper. to the ground just to make it blend in a little bit. I might add a little silver, so if you can tell there's a little sparkle in the snow. Which doesn't really add much sparkle, but it adds kind of a shadow to that. Kind of makes it look like snow. Add a little more white. Blend that out. Tons of pressure, guys. Maybe put some weight in the trunk. And there you have a evergreen in winter. That is another one of my um, uh, color pencil techniques of um, blending and mixing and matching colors. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, uh, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, comment, and tell me what I should draw in the next video. Thank you. Bye.